I'm taking pictures and she just comes up and she stands next to me and, and we didn't, you know, I didn't grab her. She just comes next, next to me and my wife was like, should we get out of the picture? And she just looked at my wife like, I'm getting this picture. And so I thought it was really cool and we, you know, we left it on the She actually made the album cover and that, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I love my dog, Rachel. Let's see. Noah from Spokane wants to know, are any of your kids interested in going into music like you? Well, uh, yeah, you know, my son especially talks about, you know, he wants to be a drummer, and but he also wants to be a football player, basketball player, and, and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, when they talk about it, uh, music's a hard business. You know, if I had to choose for them, I'd want them to be doctors, lawyers, engineers, something like that. But, uh, you know, if, if one of them decides they really want to go to it, I'll do all I can to help them. But, you know, I'm hoping they, they, they won't, you know, be doctors and lawyers and, and stuff like that. Like, mama, don't let your baby grow up to be cowboys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Kathy from, Kathy from Toronto says, what does it feel like knowing you have so many people looking up to you and your music? Uh, it feels great, Kathy. Uh, like I said before, all I've wanted since I was four was to sing music for a living and play music for people and make people happy, and I get to do that. And, you know, I, I take that very seriously, and it's something that's very dear and, and, and important to me. And, you know, I can't thank the people enough who bought my records and come to shows and actually make it make make it able for me to do this for a living. And, and, you know, I don't know if those people look up to me, but just the fact that they like my music, that's just amazing. And so I just keep trying to put on good music so those people can be be happy with what I'm doing and be happy with, with, with you know, listening to what I do. So it means the world to me to have people like my music. Let's see. Neva from Grantsville says, what inspired you to become a musician? When I was a young kid, four, five, uh, my mom was a big Al Green fan, and Al Green was always playing in our house, and I loved him. I just thought it was great. And I, I, I would sit in my room, and I'd sit in the living room with one of those big hi-fis that was big in this couch, and, and I would sit there, and I would listen to Al Green records and just sing along as much as I could. I, I'll never forget that one of the Sad days of my life was when I hit puberty and I couldn't sing those Al Green songs anymore. I couldn't hit those high notes I, and that was very disappointing to me. But Al Green was my total inspiration to become a musician and, and uh, you know, I'm glad Mom played out because, uh, you know, I, I think just hearing his voice made me want to someday be able to do that. So that was my inspiration to be a musician. Nice question, Eva. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, here's one. Sarah from Springfield. What are you most looking forward to this Christmas? Being with my family. That, that's the thing I'm looking forward to more than anything else in the world is just hanging out with my family, my kids, my, my, my wife, you know, my, going to see my sisters and brothers on Christmas Day and their kids and my nieces and nephews and cousins and all that. I, I look forward to that every year. I love it. It's, it's, it's so important to me. It's, 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 you know, family's everything. So that's, the, that's definitely the thing I'm most looking forward to is, is being with family. Lori from Ellicott City asks, have you ever given any thought to acting? Well, not a lot of people know this, but I was in Shallow Hell for about a split second. I mean, I was, if you, like most people who have seen Shallow Hell right now, going, he was in Shallow Hell? Yes, I was. When you get to the end of the movie, and uh, he's, she's, this the first time he's, she, uh, Jack Black sees Gwyneth at the way she is, and I'm the maitre d' in, in the restaurant who's seeking everybody. And uh, so uh, I have, I've been asked to do a couple things and a couple things I wanted to do, didn't, didn't have the time to do it and stuff like that. But uh, I got some friends in, in Hollywood who keep, ask, who keep asking me and keep looking for things for me. So I think someday I might do something, but I just hope it's something really cool. I don't, you know, I don't want to do some, some B movie or C movie and just to be in it. I want to do something that's really cool and, and, and just really cool, something that I can really be proud of. So yeah, I talked thought about acting someday, I, I might do something. Thanks, Lori. Catherine from Annapolis wants to know, what made you want to put out a Christmas album? Uh, ever since I signed up with Capitol Records years, seven, eight years ago, you know, they've been asking me, am I going to make a Christmas record sometime? And I've been, always wanted to make a Christmas record. I've always wanted to make an old school Christmas record. And, and so went around around, and this year just seemed like the year to do it. It, it just seemed like the perfect time. And and we, we, we got together, and Frank Rogers and I, my producer, got together. and decided what we wanted to do, what kind of record we wanted to make, and he was on board with what I wanted to do, and so we just felt like it was time. So, because uh, I've always thought about it, and now I, I finally got down and I did it, and I'm really proud of that record. 
I mean, I'm I'm so proud of Home for the Holidays. We did exactly what we wanted to do. We made an old school Christmas record, and, and I hope people enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it, Kevin. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, here's one. Mike from Manchester wants to know, was it hard to transition in the country and being a solo act after so many years of Hootie and Bluefish? Yeah, it, was, it was, wasn't the easiest thing. You know, we worked really hard to get the success we got. And I went to 120 radio stations or something like that when I first went out, four or five a day. You're just going, you know, meeting people and shaking hands and playing in conference rooms for eight people and, and stuff like that. And uh, I really did the work to, to have success. You know, I, I got lucky, I got a record deal because I have a great manager, Doc McGee, who uh, got me a record deal when I wasn't even looking for a record deal. I, I, really, I was gonna do this, I was gonna make my country record with my buddies in Charleston in the studio and, and, and Doc McGee, doesn't do things that way, and he got me a record deal. And, uh, you know, I just happened to sign with a great guy, Mike Dungan, who's the head of Universal now, and it, it was just, it just worked out great. You know, it was it was a hard transition, but I had the support I needed. The label was behind me. It was really, a lot of people had my back. And so it, it was hard work, but it worked out for all of us. And, I'm, and I can't say thank you enough to Mike Dungan and everybody at Capitol Records and everybody at McGee Management for the hard work they did for me to actually now have a career in country music. It's, it's pretty pretty darn cool. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, here's one. Jackie from Memphis, I love Memphis. Is is there any artist out right now with that, is there any artist out right now that you would like to collaborate with? Tons, tons. I mean, Miranda, Carrie, Reba, uh, love to work with Brad Paisley again. Love to work with. Uh, love to do something with Luke Bryan. Love to do something with Keith Urban. Uh, I, I mean, there's just so many. I'm leaving people out, and I'm mad at myself because there's so many I'd love to work with. I'd love to work with Little Big Town. I love to work with. Uh, you know, already worked with Lady A, and would work with them again in the heartbeat. Rascal Flats. I'd love to be the fourth member of Rascal Flats. You know, it's just so many, so many great artists that are that that I look up to and I love that I would in a heartbeat drop anything to go work with. And those are just some of them. But yeah, there's a lot of people out there that I would love to work with. Let's see. Casey from Hermitage, Hermitage wants to know who would you cast to play yourself in a movie about your life. Ooh, good question. Good question. Uh, I would probably cast Jamie Foxx. You know, would be great. I think. You know, I would love to. You know, you know, I would love to think that Denzel Washington would be great. <laughs> you know, to play. But uh, there's so many guys I think would be uh, Don Cheadle. I think would would be awesome to. You know, but you know, I don't think anybody's rushing to make a, a story of Darius Rucker's life. But I think all all those guys would, would be great. But. Uh, Probably if that ever happens, by the time I do that, there'll be a whole bunch of new actors out there doing it. So, uh, you know, but those three I think would be awesome. Kim from Norwich wants to know, do you have any goals that you are still trying to achieve in your career? Yeah, you know, there's, that, that's the thing that keeps you motivated and keep you going is there's so many things you haven't done that you want to do. You know, uh, I, I, I would love to just keep playing country music for as long as as long as I want, you know, I don't want, I, I, my goal, my main goal right now is to not stick around past the time, past, past my expiration date. You know, a lot of artists, you know, when it's, when it's over and they've had a great run, don't want it to be over. You know, I've had an amazing run twice. And so my goal right now is just to have fun and have success until the success is over and then I'll, I'll go sit at home and, you know, hopefully my kids are still young enough to enjoy me and, and, and you know, and life is great. But, uh, you know, I got, I, got, I got a lot of things, you know, I still think I got to do, and you know, from you know, maybe being in the movie, you know, you know, having more success in country music, you know, got about another Hootie record that's gonna happen, so, you know, one more Hootie record that's gonna happen someday. There's just a whole bunch of stuff I wanna do, and, you know, that's what really keeps me motivated, Kim. Let's see. Reese from Wolverhampton wants to know, besides Christmas, what's your favorite holiday? Well, Reese, we have this uh, holiday over here in the States called Thanksgiving. And I love Thanksgiving because I love to eat and I'm real good at it. And so the food's great. And, and it's also a great time for to get together with family and sit back and, and 
think about all the great things that, that's happened and all the wonderful things and all the wonderful blessings God's given you in your life and to say thank you to him for it. And that, that's what we use thanks to him for, just to say thank you for all the great things that I've been allowed to do, the great life I've been allowed to live, all the just wonderful, wonderful things that I get to do. I mean, those those things I can't say, I'm so thankful for. So Thanksgiving is a great holiday for me to, to, to remember that and to say thanks to people. Well, well, thanks for sending in your questions. Thank you very much for sending your questions. And once again, thanks again to my man, Cody. Cody, uh, you know, you're my boy, Cody. We've been doing this a long time. And, you know, the CMT, all the support you've given me over the years. And thank you for having me do this now. I hope that was fun for you guys. It was for me. And thank you for your questions. See you later.